You're watching WKBN, 27 First News, where your news comes first. Now, in high definition. Welcome back. Time now for our Live at Five. And joining me today, Dr. Mike Sevilla from Salem Community Hospital. We're here to talk about something today that often has stigma surrounding it. People don't want to talk about it with their friends and family. Depression. Mm -hmm. Why is it something that can be embarrassing or difficult to open up about? I get a lot of questions about depression, and, and it's normal to, to feel a little bit down every once in a while, but, but when I get concerned about it, or when doctors get concerned about it, or when depression starts to interrupt your normal daily life, whether it's your work life, or whether it's your home life, and you know, people know a lot of the symptoms, people can be anxious, people can be irritable, um, but start when people start to get feelings of hopelessness, um, and really starts to interrupt their lives, it, it can be a real problem, and, and we also get concerned about substance abuse abuse people right. drinking a lot or that can or, aggravate the condition. absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. so those are the things that you can look out for in your life or those around you mm -hmm. um, but again it's it's not easy for a lot of people to to admit that they have a problem with that how how has that changed over the years because we do see uh, more advertisements for mm -hmm. medication for depression and that mm -hmm. it could be um, contributing to something to kind of make it a little bit easier to talk about have you noticed a change I have you know it, even with uh, with television shows uh, or even the movies or in, in media now um, it, it's getting less and less of a stigma that it has in, in years past and I think people and their families are you know a little bit more accepting to to not only talk about it uh, you know in with their friends and family but to talk about it with their doctor which is important and if you would like some more information about the condition you can contact Salem Community Hospital at this number you can also go to our website wkbn.com dr. Sevilla thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.